So let's look at a couple of examples of how some of these cognitive tilts can get in the way of evaluating information that you're receiving about your opportunity or about your performance in a, in a certain kind of entrepreneurial context. I'll ask, uh, I'll, I'll read a scenario and then you just, you answer it uh, through the system and uh, see how we do. The first scenario, Janine was launching a brand new fair trade coffee and was convinced that people would pay an extra dollar per pound because of the fair trade label, meaning that people were paid a fair amount uh, in the places where the beans were grown, etc. Even though her marketing manager told her that several of the uh, focus groups had said that they would not pay more, Janine held out fast, believing a college friend who told her she would happily pay an extra dollar for this kind of coffee. This is an example of which? Confirmation bias, illusion of control, optimistic bias, or availability bias. Select. Confirmation bias is what this was because she believed her college friend, who was not an expert, but confirmed her own belief, and so therefore this is confirmation bias. Let's look at another example. Chris was negotiating a lease in a downtown restaurant that had failed for the last three tenants because people had started going to the new mall. He was certain that he could make the place work because he felt that past owners just didn't do a good job. He could do better. This is an example of confirmation bias, the illusion of control, a heuristic, or availability bias. This is an example of illusion of control because he, could, he thought that the other people just didn't know what they were doing, but he would do a better job. But there's factual evidence as to why it didn't fail before. That is, people were no longer going in that area of town. They were going to the new mall. 